I'm the Soho Chef Man, and today we're gonna make homemade corn tortillas with masa harina. I have a big old bowl, two cups of masa harina, and masa harina is corn flour treated with lime, and I believe it's to make the nutrients uh, more available. Two cups or 240 grams, and we need a half a teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna add a cup and a half of hot water, maybe a little bit more, and then we're gonna mix it with the back of the spoon until it's a ball. And once it's all together and it's a little bit moist, we'll let it rest for about 45 minutes. And then we'll press them out. I'll see you guys in 45 minutes. So now our uh, water has boiled. We're gonna add it slowly and mix it around. I don't like to add it all at once because I think it gets clumpier that way. This way you can incorporate it a little bit more piecemeal. So I'm just using the back of a wooden spoon because that's what my parents used to do. There might be a more optimal way, but the water's really hot, so figure out what you can. But this is an okay solution. I've been pretty happy with this. And like when you smell it now, it kind of smells like a tortilla chips, which is like pretty dope. And like I really like tortilla chips, so if you're into that, this is like fun for that. You can see it's, you know, coming together. You know, gotta add more water. In here and sometimes the dough gets stuck and then I use a chopstick. <laughs> At this point it's like pretty, you know, I can definitely deal with this with my hands a little bit. It's really hot honestly. Maybe I'll go back to the spoon. That's basically what you want. You don't like need to knead it or anything like that because there's no gluten in it. So like it's not like you're like stretching fibers or whatever. I feel like mostly it's just steam that's keeping this together. So like this doesn't freeze super well which is like was surprising, but it makes sense from like a science or a physics perspective. So I'm gonna let this rest for about 45 minutes, and then when we come back, we'll portion it all out, and then we'll show you how to press them. See you in about an hour. It's been 45 minutes. 60 gram balls, and then we'll get the press out. Last ones, a little small, whatever, the little three quarter ones, who cares? That's how you know it's all homemade. So now we have a bunch of these balls, and I'm gonna go and get the tortilla press, and we're gonna press these out and start cooking them. So here we have my tortilla press. I got it on the internet, and it's pretty dope, because I think tortillas are really, they're not something to play around with. So, I have a freezer bag. I'm just gonna chop, cut this. I'm gonna use it basically instead of flour to make sure that the tortillas don't get stuck to the press. We also need this thing to be hot. Uh, medium high. And I'm gonna get some oil in a little bit, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and press some of these out. I'm just gonna lay this. So this is heating up and I press them out one at a time because I'm not really sure what to do with them other than put them on parchment paper. This is just some canola oil and a cast iron pan on medium high. I'm just using a paper towel to spread the oil just so I get good coverage. I press out the first one. So we just put it, the ball in here, fold it shut, and then we close this side. We press down and then we use the arm Apply some pressure, and then what we have is something awesome. Yay, look at that. Very happy with that. And it hopefully it comes off clean, which it does. And it goes right in the pan like that. Wow, what a circle, what a circle. I really shouldn't be so surprised that these are turning out well, but I am enjoying it. We we'll probably flipped that too early. But yeah, we just keep flipping them and meet you back here when I'm finished cooking them and we'll see what the final result looks like. Hey, the internet. So after cooking the entire stack, this is what we have. A whole stack of delicious, delicious, homemade uh, corn tortillas and you can fill this with whatever, but I think it's really important that if you're serious about tacos, that you make your own tortillas. Enjoy tacos.